Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm Zia Scarlett from ZK Research, and I'm here uh, at the Fortinet stand inside the Expo Hall at RSA 2025. I'm with Jamie Romero, EVP of Marketing at uh, Fortinet. Relatively new role for you, right? Yes, sir. I've been at Fortinet for over six years now. Uh, just recently stepped into head marketing up for the company. Okay, excited about that? I am absolutely excited. It is an exciting time for Fortinet. Um, and we're launching so many new products, so many new uh, innovations coming out of Fortinet, and it's a great time to be here. Well, it's an exciting time for Fortinet and the industry, and so this is, by all accounts, the industry's biggest show. Uh, what's the vibe here? What are you picking up? What, what excites you? What's been interesting here? Yeah, I've been coming here for a few years. It's really, really crowded here. Uh, the booths are super crowded. Uh, there's a lot of talk around AI. Uh, obviously, and, obviously. Yeah. Um, and you're seeing a lot of concentration of uh, of attendees at some of the bigger companies as one of the key themes this year I'm seeing is around consolidation. And I think customers are looking at some of these big consolidators. Okay, so for key themes, obviously AI is a big one. Yes. Platformization has been big for the last couple of years. Anything else you're picking up as a key theme here? Um, for us, I'm looking at, as far as the boots go, it's, it's uh, consolidation, and AI. Yeah. Um, and they go hand in hand in some ways? Yes, I think they, in some parts they do uh, because the problems customers are trying to face revolve around um, uh, reducing their attack surface, trying to manage lack of resources. And in both cases, when you have a platform, you need less resources to manage multiple tools and AI drives more efficiencies for our customers. Yeah, and it seems like when we're talking about platformization now, uh, not for more than a decade, but it seems like over the last couple of years, customer mindset has actually shifted to platform as the way forward. Uh, I think some of that's been driven by AI, but uh, what, what else is driving that? What we're seeing is the average customers are, are, are managing over 50 tools in their tech stack. And because they're managing over 50 tools in their tech stack, they're seeing a tremendous amount of a lack of visibility, inconsistent security policies. Yep. And last year we published our OT security report yeah. And we found that 61% of OT organizations had three intrusions in the last year. So between multiple point products, between a lack of resources, they need to solve the problem. And Fortinet's security fabric platform, we believe, is the way we can do that. Okay, now at the, uh, on the AI theme, at your Accelerate event uh, in Berlin, you announced 40 AI. Yes. Right? Now, uh, if I look around the expo hall there, I see AI everywhere. Uh, what's, what's unique about 40 AI? Absolutely. There's, there's two things that make 40 AI unique. Number one, the premise that AI has to be useful for our customers. Ken believes that there's a lot of hype out there and making AI useful for customers enhances their value, enhances their protection. And we do it best because it's fully integrated into the security fabric. R40 AI works seamlessly across the security fabric. So if you're having problems on your network, it can automatically fix problems on your network. It now has a Gentic AI to proactive tri proactively triage alerts to do auto configurations and policy creations on its own, as well as some knock management to improve network performance for our customers. Yeah, and one of the I know one of the use cases of 40 AI is the Protect AI to secure LLMs. Yes. Right. And is that uh, something you see more of? Where what are customers thinking about with say, LLM security? We're hearing, we're seeing a lot of interest around that. Uh, customers are either hosting their LLMs or their AI infrastructure on-prem or in the cloud. And if you're hosting it on-prem, you absolutely need to employ data security. And with 40 DLP and some of our eight other AI-driven data security tools, we're preventing data leakage, LLM injections, uh, and those kinds of things. If you're hosting AI in the cloud, our AI web gateways provide secure access to your AI infrastructure. Yeah, and what's interesting about that is uh, obviously when you look at the world of LLMs, there's new ones being developed all the time. Yep. And uh, companies are having to switch between them, you know, because different languages, whatever. And um, I've talked to a lot of companies about they're not sure how to secure that. So if you use something like 40 AI as the foundational technology to secure your LLMs, now companies can actually mix and match their LLMs right. without actually having to worry about securing them in each, each one individually, right? Yeah. 40 AI Protect is fully built in and native into FortiGuard Labs. It's included with your FortiGuard Labs subscription and provides things like AI app detection, down preventing uh, your employees from accessing things like ChatGPT, DeepSeek, if you want them to. Yeah. Now, another theme that's been consistent across RSAs, certainly over the last five years, so has been SASE. Yep. Um, now, uh, SASE, I know Fortinet's best known as a network security vendor, but it's grown a pretty impressive SASE stack. 
So talk about that and how you think that differs from uh, what I consider a, an increasingly crowded market of vendors that are using the, the terminology SASE. Um, yep. Some actual SASE, some maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are, ha we are seeing a tremendous amount of momentum with our SASE, growing triple digits quarter over quarter. What we do differently with, with SASE is we invest in SASE like we did with our OS and our ASIC technology, and we're building our own cloud infrastructure to deliver our SASE and security services seamlessly to our customers. No one else is building a cloud infrastructure like we are. As a matter of fact, we have a large US retailer with 30,000 SASE users that have feature for feature parity with all of our competitors and are being cloud delivered through our 40 cloud infrastructure. We're just really excited about it. Yeah, well, I think that's one of the uh, really underappreciated aspects of the 40 portfolio is 40 SASE. I think it's, uh, uh, I know it's, you've had pretty good growth, but Obviously, a lot of the attention still is on the, the firewall side. But yeah. when, so when you look at 40 SASE, you've got uh, uh, you know, the traditional 40 gate product, the platform story that allows you to collect a lot of data. Right? And we're here in front of the Thread Intel station. And um, you know, that's been another uh, really emerging aspect of what Fortnite does. So what's new on the Thread Intel side? Yeah. So we just launched and released our new Fortigard Labs Thread Intel report. And we're seeing a ton of trends happening in the market. We're seeing an acceleration of scanning across the internet, across networks, uh, that tells us there's a, a large scale being implemented across our adversaries. We're seeing AI being used by our adversaries all the time. Uh, they're crafting phishing emails, indistinguishable from the real things. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing exploit kits being easily packaged and available to people with less and less skills required to exploit them. Uh, so we're seeing a ton out there. Yeah, so I think actually the trading bill side of what you're doing in this AI-driven world of phishing and deep fakes becomes more and more important. I think, uh, you know, more and more I hear companies talking about the, the deep fakes are getting indistinguishable. Uh, even on the phishing side, they've gotten so good right. that trying to use, uh, you know, uh, uh, trying to uh, help users with, by coaching them isn't working anymore. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. So, yeah. And so it is. So you stepped into this role at Fortnite at a pretty interesting time, right? Uh, uh, a lot's changing with AI and cloud. So what excites you most about the security industry, more importantly, uh, about Fortinet uh, moving forward? Yeah, I'm really excited to be at Fortinet right now. I've been with Fortinet, as I said, over yeah. six years. Um, we have a huge focus on transparency uh, for our customers. We believe in responsible disclosure. We believe that our customers need to trust their security partners. So I'm excited to build that message and educate the market on how important transparency is. And we're gonna take that message all the way. Well, trust, number one thing for security men today, right? So, that's right, yeah, absolutely. So, so we had trust, AI, SASE, uh, anything else you wanna add? No, I think I'm really excited. I appreciate you having me. Yeah. Um, we're gonna see great things from Fortinet this year. Yeah, all right, well, I'm looking forward to seeing more. So, Thank you. Uh, so until we meet again. Uh, so I'm behalf of Jamie Romero from the Fortinet stand at RSA 2025. I'm Zias Caraballo from CK Research, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on the next episode of Zcast.